here. I'm just getting some toys out for the kid. Wait a minute. Is that Romeo? You're not getting the toys this time. Come with me. That will stop you. Trapped. And if you try to move, my computer will tell me. Come on, Roz, let's watch some episodes. Look, it's day. Now it's night. Now it's day. Now it's night. Look, Roz, it's a full moon. toys now. We've got our Super Moon Adventures HQ rocket, we've got Catboy and Howler, Gecko and Kevin, Howler and Whip, and at the back here we've got some 
uh, Super Moon Adventure Rovers, one for Owlet, one for Catboy and one for Gecko. So I think we should start down here with our new villains, <laughs> Howler. Rip and Kevin, you can see here in the package you get you get a cat boy and you get a howler. If we get them out, you can have a, a close look. So here is Howler. You can see him really up close there. I, I think that just played to a great job with these characters. Oh look in the back, you can see they've got their Wolfies logo <laughs> and a little belt buckle, that's really cute. His hair is quite spiky, it reminds me a bit of Romeo's hair, that kind of design. And also, you've got that kind of Romeo um, pale bit of hair <laughs> going there. Do you think that's what all the baddies have got? Perhaps they worry too much and that makes them go grey. So here we are, a little red, little red jacket underneath. And as, as all of these toys, you can pose and you can move the arms and you can move the legs. Um, which I think is really nice. So there you go, that is Howler, we'll put him down there. Of course you get a Catboy. I don't think there's anything to say about this really, because we know what Catboy is, and this is pretty much the same as the other Catboys we get, but it's always nice to have them because you can play with them together. Now we have got Gecko and Kevin. What I like is on the back of these packs, you can see it introduces you to Rip, Howler and Kevin. Uh, it says collect them all, we've got them all. <laughs> so it's really nice of Just Play to send these to us we get out um, Kevin you can see him there also I just want to get out oh we forgot this didn't we Howler comes with this kind of lightning attack I'll put that up there by him um, so let's have a close look at Kevin you can hardly see his eyes because his hair is so long if my kids were like this I would say it's time to cut your hair <laughs> and he's got a little little top knot of hair at the top, it looks like a little heart and his ears stick through, he's very cute although he's a baddie, I think he looks really great and he's got like a little sort of smart tuxedo on here with a little, is that a little tie? no, a little, a little cravat I think and he's got his lapels on his jacket and in the back as well, you can see that he's got his Wolfies team logo really nice, look at that wolf, can you see really closely? he's got a big round nose <laughs> and you can pose his legs as well and you can see he's a little bit bursting out of his clothes there. He's got a hole in his knee and he's got a bit of fur on his hands because they think because it's a full moon he's turning into a werewolf. So we also have Gecko here. But nicely with Gecko, we know Gecko don't we, here we are, but it's nice that we've also got his new Gecko shield. Go on, go on, <laughs> and he can hold that. Um, and this reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I used to watch when I was little because it's like a turtle shell but he will certainly be able to fend off all the Wolfie's attacks with his super magic um, turtle shell and next we have got Owlet and Rip you can see here uh, and Owlet as well has got, has got her shield anyway let's get this open to see what they're like and they've put Owlet and Rip together, I think, because Rip is the girl villain. Do you remember the other villains who were girls? Of course we have got Luna Girl, haven't we? So do you think Rip's a little bit like Luna Girl in the new series, in the new set of villains? She's really cool. I like her little um, sandals sort of things at the bottom. Just going over the, top, over the top of her feet. She's got a little squin. And can you see right there? She's got one little tiny tooth on the side. And she's got little bits of purple and pink on the hair. She's got some bone clips to keep her hair in place. And as well on the back, you can see she has also got the Wolfies logo too. It's got a little sort of rubberized little skirt going round. Looking really cool. And I like the yellow. I like the yellow top. There's not that much yellow in PJ Masks, is there? So I think whenever we have yellow, it's a good thing. So over here we have got more Super Moon Adventures, but this is the Owlet Moon Rover. So you have Owlet in here, we'll pop her out. You can see that she's wearing quite a different outfit. It's like a sort of a biker outfit because she's got leather, leather gloves on her hands. And look at her front. She's got a special Super Moon sort of little logo on this harness that she's wearing for when she goes outside, I guess, into the moon. And she's got this 
more sort of d dynamic. Like it's like it's a space helmet, isn't it? Over the top of her head, and on the very top, you can see there's kind of like an owlet feather sort of symbol on the back. She's more like normal owlet on the back, and of course down here she's got kind of dark leather boots as well. So we'll put her over here. In the pack, you can see we've got the moon rover. Let's get that out, and then I see that's why the handles are upright, so that she can handle them and hold them. <laughs> that's great! Wow, I'd love to know which of these toys you think you're going to be getting. Is the Super Moon Adventures one of the collections that you think you're going to be after? I think they're really cool. There you go. Oh, that is cool. It's like a PJ Masks computer. It's got all the keyboard, a little trackpad at the front. That's great detail. Oh, look, it says PJ Masks on the back. How much, how much fun is that? I wish it would fold. Oh, it doesn't fold. That would be so cool. If it folded, that would be perfect. Over here, we've got another Moon Rover, but of course, this one isn't for Owlet. This is the Catboy Moon Rover, and it is quite different, actually. They're not just the same in different colours, which I like. We've got different Moon Rovers for the different PJ masks. And Catboy here. Again, he's got kind of leather gloves and hat and helmet on. His helmet's a little bit bigger than Owlet's, or maybe the colour's different, but it looks like he's wearing a hat, a sort of a helmet like for a motorbike with the stripes on the top. He's got his leather hands on, and again, he's got that new harness on the front with the special, what is that? A special little ability, special little thing there. A special little totem, I guess you'd call that. And on the back, you can see it goes all the way around, and he's got his biker boots on as well. Really nice. It's Catboy Tail. Now let's get his bike out. Here is the bike. Again, it's different to Owlet's. It's really nice how they've got they've designed each one differently. So you can see Owlet's is there, Gecko's is here. I wonder which one's fastest. Which one do you prefer? The Gecko Moon Rover or the Owlet one? And again, let's pop him on there. Whoop, put your tail up. Click. His gloves on, the handlebars, and he's ready to go. Look! So cool. Ready. Hey, that whirls really, really quick. It just keeps going. And of course, he's got his Moon Rover special rocket, rocket, um, rock picker upper. He's got like a gem in the end of it. You can see he's picking it up. Maybe that's what he found when he was on the moon. So it's those two. And of course, not forgetting, over here, we have got Gecko's Moon Rover, and again, it's different again. That's really nice. So you've got Gecko. Let's pop him out. You can have a look. Um, smiling. I love Gecko's smile. It always makes me smile. He's got a helmet with his Gecko things pointing out the top, and it's kind of like a turtle again. It reminds me of a turtle shell. This kind of stuff because it's kind of like hexagons, like on the shell. And he's got his little leather gloves on and leather boots, ready to be going on his on his Moon Rover biking vehicle. And there you've got his harness with his space totem on the front and on the back. Oh, it's got like a, is that right? It's, yeah, it's, it's got a, a little bit of a tread on it. It makes a noise. That's different. Oh, I like that. I like how they're all so different. So you've got Gecko, Catboy, and Dara. You can see there at the back. If I turn them round, you can see what they look like at the front. Hard to hold them all. That's good. That works. Look at this. <laughs> That's so cool. We've got the main event here, which is our our Super Adventure Rocket HQ. Now, there's lots to say about this because there's so much to it. So first of all, you can do the legs and they move and click into place. Click. Look, it's so big, I can't fit it in the camera. So it clicks into place and that means when it comes down to land, it can land really nicely. At the back here, if we turn it around, you can see you've got a special rockety sort of look at the back. That's where all the jets come out. And you've got the wings here. So the wings can be positioned. And they kind of click, which is really nice. They click into place or they can be down. If you're maybe going super fast, you've got your wings down for landing maybe. Or if you want to be more steering, more control, you can put them up. Then here on either side, can you see? If I put that there, this lights up. So here, you press the button on the top, I'm pressing this button up here. And that lights up, and that lights up. And you get loads of different sounds. It's cool, it's really sort of retro space sounds. And of course you get the PJ Masks tune. 
We always get the DJ Mars tune, don't we? Now, at the front here, you can see if we lift this up, this is where the PJ Masks can sit. Um, and obviously that's where the houses went. They, they took over the Space Rocket. But it's not just a Space Rocket, because it's a Space Rocket HQ. So this means that wherever the PJ Masks are on the moon, they can set up their HQ with their Space Rocket. So click, go on. Just gonna try and get Catboy in here. You have to get the right angle to get him sat down. Click. When he's in there, he's not going anywhere. It does need maybe a little bit of help from a grown-up to get them in. You've got a steering bit at the front. Click. And you've got Owl at the back. And each of the PJ Masks obviously have their seats. Click. So now, this looks really cool. They're all in place. Gecko's the one who's steering on this one. And as they come towards you, you can see there's so much in here. If you look at the back, there's all the different panel with all the HQ details that they need. There's their computer at the back so they can find out where the Wolfies are, or maybe where Romeo or Luna Girl is. And as that's not all, so when you take off, you pop the legs up, and obviously then you're going super fast. But if you don't actually want to land and you just want to drop off some of your special moon rovers, there's a button here. See that button? And you press it, and down hops the flap. Can you see that? So the space rover is loaded in there, ready to go. So it drops down, and then you've got a special little down button here. Woo! And it whizzes out so that you can be ready to go on your super moon adventures. And then when you're ready to go, click it up, take it off, and you pop the legs away. So I think that's great. And you can see, can you see in inside, look? You can see inside. Hello Catboy! Hello Gecko! So there's loads in there to play with. In the Supermoon Adventure Pack you also get a special edition Gecko Moodle. Now let me show you this, this is quite exciting. What's interesting is that this Moon Rover is different to... Um, where's the other ones gone? Oh god they're in here! I was like where's Gecko? <laughs> He's in the spaceship! Pop him down there. Pop Gecko on get his handles on. So you can see this gecko, Moon Rover, is different. It gets in the Rocket HQ you get a special edition Moon Rover. You can see the lights are a bit different but not only that, the moulding is a bit different as well. So if we can compare these and also you can see that the, there's a different colour on the helmet, different colour on the gloves. So what I want to know from you is which of these will you be getting? Is this your favourite PJ Mask? How does the Rocket HQ compare to the original HQ? Is that something you're going to be getting? Let us know in the comments. We just want to know what you think about this, because I think it's going to be great. Are you enjoying those new episodes of PJ Mask? What do you think about the Wolfies? Who's your favourite Wolfie? Is it Howler, Kevin or Rip? <laughs>